Hello Reception, today we're going to be reading Sue Potato for guided reading and that's by the author Sue Hendra. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet, but crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Mm, I wonder what it could be. Help! Help! cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt! Ah! cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face! <coughs> cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Soup potato to the rescue! He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Soup potato. There's a pea on the loose. <gasps> oh no, not a pea, everyone gasped. Yes, a pea, and I'm out of the freezer now, and I'm never going back. <laughs> and the evil pea ran off to commit more terrible crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Sue Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes checked the cheese and snuck up on the beans. Then something caught his eye. The game's up, yelled Sue Potato. Kapow! But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Sue Potato? <gasps> Gasp! Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked. But Sue Potato summoned up all his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for Sue Potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for Sue Potato. Not today, my friend, said Sue Potato. Gotcha, <coughs> said the pea. Oh yes, said Sue Potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said, and the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli, and everybody laughed and cheered. So remember folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go back and check your freezer, just in case there's an escapee in your house. I wonder if you could go and check in your freezer to see if there's any escapees living in there as well. Come back tomorrow for guided reading where we'll be retelling the story together.